Okay, our uh, talk tonight, uh, there's going to be three of us involved in this, and, and I think Mike is on. I heard him here a minute ago, and I think Roy, is he on? Yes, I'm here, okay, but I'm I'll, blind. I, I can't okay, see but I'll, I'll tell you when I'm ready. Audio. I'll tell you when I'm ready. Okay. For you. okay? All right, so okay. We're, I'm going to kick it off here. Uh, all three of us work for the Humane Society and we do volunteer work and we've had a lot of fun with this. Uh, I'm gonna show you some projects I've done. This is one I've done for Conquistador here. Uh, all the dog people got together when I was taking my class at Indian River State College there. Uh, one of the projects was to put together like a book. So I got all the dog people in here together and that this this was a full page spread in the middle of the book uh, that I and the light was really nice it was early in the morning sun was just coming up so I got a pretty good shot here uh, here's a few of the pages that I got with their dogs it's really fun to do uh, to do photos with uh, people and their pets pet parents we call them Here's another one. I'm not going to show you all the pages I did, but I've right. just thrown a few out here. Hmm. Uh, so I... here's another one. Yeah. I like the oh, one there. Look at that. I love that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That guy just loves that dog. Well, we all love our pets, right? We and the one on pets. the one on the right is a dog called Lily. And uh, I took that when I was in the car down at, at St. Lucie Boulevard, I was at a stoplight and Chuck's car was in front of me and Lily stuck her head out and was looking at me. I just happened to have my camera on the passenger seat and I picked it up and I caught this shot. Huh. But uh, it go, just goes to show you, it's, it's always good to have your camera with you. And I guess uh, if, uh, if you don't you if you don't have your regular uh, DSLR or mirrorless camera, you can always catch something like that with a regular iPhone or cell phone, but it probably wouldn't come out that good. <laughs> so That's for sure. And uh, I think the personality and the the dogs and the people kind of come out on some of these. That's what I try and capture. Very nice. And here's another event I do for the Humane Society. They call it the Mutt March. <laughs> and uh, this was done, oh, this was back in 2015. I caught some pretty good images there. Uh, oh. One thing I like to do is get color in with the animal. That one on the left. And it's just, beautiful. Just the it's look on picture. that dog. Just yep. the the look and then that's a mastiff dog on the right yep and uh he's, he's a big boy. he is a big boy that guy he's a bull mastiff sure yeah and then uh they this was one uh where they had a dog splat like a splash event or a, they they washed the dogs when the the people that came with their dogs they were able to get their dogs washed and they paid a fee to do it. I felt kind of sorry for that one on the right. It looks like his eyes were all- yeah, Like uh, conjunctivitis or something. Yeah, a little bit of a conjunctivitis, yeah. 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 I felt so sorry for him, but uh, everybody loves their pets. That's true. Heck, we got a sick one right now I'm really worried about. Mm. A <laughs> couple more there. <clears throat> and yeah. some of the ones that were up for adoption uh they had the they had the adopt me sign on them and this was a run for fun this was another uh, event that they had to raise funds for the humane society this was back in 2015 too but it's all fun a few more slides here I'm going to hand it over to my other buddies here. And uh, this is a big one right here. In fact, uh, this is the one I do every year, and I got Mitch doing it for me this year, right, Mitch? Yes, sir. 
Yeah, I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm going to be on the Kingfisher tour with uh, Ron at that date. It's the 9th of December, I believe. Did she get a hold of you yet, Mitch? Not yet, Tom, no. I got an email from her. She's going to call you. Okay, I'll, was I'll, I'll be more than, I'll set everything up. It's no you're going to love this. It's so much fun to get. Yeah, it looks like it's fun. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to be on that one too, I think, right? Uh, I think I'm, on, I'm on the one on the 15th. Oh, that's a different one. Yeah. But, yeah, this, with, this is with Santa. Else. This is a pet okay. splash event with Santa. And it's at the, uh, uh, where, where they have the Martin County uh, Swim Center. Sure, yeah. That was a lot of fun. Yeah. Yeah, Roy. Yeah, I got a good one of Roy and Blanca <laughs> with their dog. Here's another one. And we got one more here. Final wrap up on the Santa one. Nice. What lens were you using there, Tom? Uh, 24 to 24 to 70. I think I sent you the specs. Yeah, oh yes, you did actually. Yep. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. Got it. Yeah. You'll have your tripod all set up and with a remote to fire it oh. off and it'll be the same distance every time you'll have the same, it'll just be boom, 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 you know. Okay, that's cool. This is our cat, cat yeah. images. And I got these at the Humane Society. They wanted me to go over and get some shots for Christmas. Mm -hmm. one year. I had very the wrong, nice. I had very, the wrong white nice. balance on these. These, I had the wrong white balance. This is a good lesson on this one. I think I had automatic white balance in it and with this, with the uh, fluorescent lights in there, you get the wrong lighting, you know? Yeah. yeah. So, but. Oh. Yeah. That's my son's dog and his wife and two kids, grandkids on the right. And again, we got the guy that loves his dog more than life, <laughs> I think, on the left. Cute. Okay, these are tips I'm gonna say for me, uh, capture an unusual pose or situation, include the pet owner or family member that shows emotion. Very important when you're doing pet photography, I believe anyway. And here's one, Mitch, here's a tip for you for the Santa one. I bring a, do a little uh, stuffed animal. Yeah. I got and plenty of them. Yeah, and that was that was a sound that I get out of mine right there, and that gets her that gets her attention. You know, you do that with them, and bingo, they're they're looking at you, and you'll be lucky enough to capture a good shot with their with them looking at you. Okay, and then uh, use a backdrop that complements the pet. How do you like that backdrop? The color and everything, and the smiles, the mm -hmm. dog. Very good. Very photogenic couple. Mm -hmm. And then the other one I mentioned earlier, yeah. use of color adds interest and complements the pet. Very nice. Okay. okay. And then I believe in getting some short video clips. This was the cat I loved that passed away a couple of years ago, Baron, sitting on my chair. But I like to get... I like to get some short video clips of them too. Now you'd be able to even get a better one with your animal eye autofocus, Tom. Yeah, right, <laughs> right. Yeah, that wasn't the best video, but it was there. Now here's one that'll really uh, get you. Uh, this guy's no relation to me, Roscoe Turner. He actually flew with his pet lion. Wow. And the pet lion's name is John. His name was Gilmore. It was back in 1930. <laughs> and he actually flew with this little lion and it actually grew up and eventually he donated it to a zoo. But uh, I have that little plane on my bar here in my home. I have That's a cute. bunch of things. Gilmore Red Lion. <laughs> Memorable year. Feel you. Uh, but uh, so there you go. He was in the air like that or is that just on the ground? That's just on the ground, I take it. Oh, yeah, he's sitting on, the plane's on the ground there. But yeah. no, he flew with him in the plane, too. Yeah, all right. Yeah, he had, he, he has a photo of him in, in the archives in, in the Smithsonian 
where he's got the lion, he's holding him up by the parachute, you know, the straps <laughs> of the parachute, because yeah. the lion even had a parachute made for him. <laughs> so uh, that was pretty good. Okay. Uh, I guess back in 1930, it was easy to get a little lion like that, huh? Yeah, yeah. You can't do that today. No. Uh, I'm going to have to leave this for a minute and let a couple more people in here. Joy, I've got let her come in a few times. Hopefully, she's going to stay this time. Okay, we got 17 people in here now. By the way, we are recording this, so if you missed, if you just joined us, you'll see this uh, as a recording. I'll be sending out the link for it. Okay, I'm going to put this back on full screen. Uh, one other added item I have here, I want to mention to everybody, if you plan to have young children in your photos, and a lot of people like to do that, have kids in the photos, and you put it on social media, be very careful of that. Be sure you have permission, and there's a form you can get for that if it's not your own child, but you don't want to uh, post images of kids on social media without uh, approval, uh, and you could get in some trouble with that one, okay? Okay. Okay. Just, just have fun and enjoy photographing your pets. All right, Mike. Uh, oh, I, I got you. I got your images up here. If I can. All right. Can you all hear me? Yep. Yeah. Well, this this was uh, I guess a, a little over two years ago um, because I haven't been to the um, to the um, Humane Society in well over a year and a half. What she did was unfortunately because of COVID um we were banned from going in there and i guess the, what she does with the pets now is she either takes the photos herself anyhow uh, i find bunnies are, are just a heck of a lot of fun to photograph they're very skittish rabbits tend to be very very skittish and if you can get them to sit for you know three to five seconds like these bunnies did then it's a lot of fun um i used um I used my own camera. Uh, they had a camera there, a uh, little Canon, but I like to use my uh, Nikon uh, D500 uh, for almost all of these shots. Um, the light was, the, the, the light uh, that they have there, it's a, uh, uh, like a flood, but it was good, uh, it was good light. We, we would uh, manipulate it a little bit to get these. Um, these animals were, as all the small animals are, were put on the table. The table had a white drop screen, and we would put these bunnies and the small cats on the drop screen. The, the cats were, were very difficult to keep there because they're afraid of sitting on that thing, first of all. And if you get the cat to sit there for, you know, five to ten seconds, you were lucky. Usually the cats would be very skittish about that. The bunnies were skittish, but not quite as much. This one, the white one on the left, um, you know, got on his on his hind paws for us. And on the right, I thought in the middle, I thought that was pretty cute because he sort of hunched. And you can see his all four feet together. He was a little flop-eared bunny. And then you can see the two um, uh, darker uh, rabbits on the right. Uh, we got them together. To get two rabbits together like this, you've got to be sharp. You've got to be able to get them there and be ready to do that shot within a second, because sure as heck they'll they'll start to hop or get apart from each other. Do they have a lot of uh, rabbits for uh, adoption there? At that time, they did. Um, you know, rabbits are funny. I mean, uh, people get them as small bunnies, and the rabbits get a little larger and um you know and they get rid of them i mean they find out that you know a rabbit you have to keep in a cage that's number one number two uh the uh, rabbits poop everywhere so i remember this uh, when my kid was my own daughter was young we had a rabbit and she kept the rabbit in the cage in her in her in her room but she would let the rabbit out all the time you know so rabbit could hop around and of course every time the rabbit hops he leaves little deposits all over the floor <laughs> all over the rug. By the time the jilly either got too big for the rabbit or the rabbit passed, I can't remember what the story is. They always die after a couple of years. Um, the rug was in pretty sad shape, you know, <laughs> because of all the droppings that the rabbit left, despite the fact that my daughter tried to pick them up afterwards. 
but you know, pe people, I think, get rabbits, you know, when they're little bunnies. And then after three weeks, four weeks, the kid's not interested anymore. The mother is not interested anymore. Probably She's at Easter time. <laughs> and so they all end up at the final testing ground, which is a humane society. And usually if they're small, they get adopted. If they're large rabbits, they don't all get adopted. And unfortunately, they have to be you know, put to sleep. But uh, the rabbits are fun. So we had rabbits, cats. Uh, the cats, again, are very, very skittish, um, particularly if they're, if they're adult cats. And you try to get them up on that table, good luck. I mean, you have to be yeah. ready the instant that cat is put on the table and, and be ready to snap away. The cat yeah. will be all over the place, you know. Yeah, somebody's got something that was rubbing in the background there or something, but I don't think I've got to mute anybody yet. It's not that objectionable, to, but yeah. just be sure in the background you don't have a TV on or something. Okay, yeah, Mike. Yeah. Uh, were there... Uh... Were there some cats that I did too? Or just the bunnies that I put uh, in? I got just the bunnies. Okay, all right. That's all I got from you. Unfortunately, um, we don't. I don't volunteer anymore. I don't think Roy, uh, Roy does either because she hasn't called us back. I don't know if she does the pictures herself now or what. Um, this is uh, mostly due to the pandemic. Um, yeah, I think and, so, yeah. Uh, yeah. I don't know what their plans are, but this is just a kind of a, because of the pandemic, yeah. there, was a, going to redo there was another one of us oh. in our group that volunteered that he hasn't been to a meeting for quite a while. What was his name? Mike, somebody, Mike, the other fellow. Well, anyway, uh, uh, you, yeah, I don't remember that guy. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, Roy, I got some photos you want to show. You can't see them though. Yeah. Can you see these? Yeah. Oh, okay. I can't see anything. <laughs> So um, Mike did a good job describing uh, what we do. Uh, I just want to put in a good plug for the Humane uh, Shelter of the Treasure Coast. Uh, they're in Palm City and they're a private organization. They rely on uh, donations and so forth. And they care over 5,000 animals per year. And what I like about it is that they're a no-kill uh, there are no kill shelter, yeah. Yeah, we do not euthanize uh, or to make space or because of the breed. And our shelter pets do not have time limits on how long they stay in our care. So uh, once they're there, uh, unless they're adopted, they're going to be there for the rest of their life. So I like that about them. Um, also, uh, I've had pigs, huge pigs that um, are there as residents, I, I will call them residents. And, and goats. We've had gerbil, goats, roosters in, roosters, in the shop. Yeah. Um, we've, had, we've had up to like 500 volunteers before the pandemic. And I'm sure that number has been decimated, but uh, it's a great organization. The volunteers are just so dedicated. I was really amazed and happy that there's so many people willing to give their time up for these animals. A lot of the animals are traumatized as they come in. They might have just been picked up a couple of days before we get there to photograph them. So it's we just really have to be careful not to further traumatize them by taking their photos, especially with a flash. So we got to be very careful. Uh, they assign a, an assistant for us. Uh, they call them wranglers. So this wrangler tries to pose the subject for us. And uh, sometimes they're so skittish it's hard to do, but we try to do the best we can. Uh, they want the whole subject to be in the frame. And they, uh, we have a white background, like Mike said, and a table, which is about three foot high, that we set the smaller animals because they encourage us to take pictures of them at eye level. Um, other than that, uh, it's a lot of fun. We uh, really enjoyed it. Uh, they asked us to set our cameras uh, ISO at 200, shutter speed at 250, 
and I think the F stop is an eight. Um, we have to balance that, that out a little bit. Yeah, but other than that, uh, they don't let us take pictures outside, which which I really would enjoy. It would be much better looking pictures, but uh, as soon as we get done shooting, we hand, we hand it over to our lady who's in charge of the web, and she picks out the pictures that will be in the network immediately, and they go to our network where it can be reviewed for potential adopters, people that want to adopt. And uh, so they have a very aggressive uh, staff. We do very well in uh, for, on the adoption ratios. They they're not in very long. A lot of them we have a real good time average for for adoptions. So other than that, uh, the pictures that I submitted are the ones that I had available. Uh, they have not been judged. So there's some bad ones that that will never get published because they're not good pictures. But I just put them in there as it's just a, an example of a bad picture or a picture that's not. So go ahead, Tom, and just show them. And uh, yeah, Roy, that's what, what I've been. That's I've been kind of going through them as you've been talking. And there's some great ones here, and I really like your uh, a way you described the, the whole situation there at the Humane Society because that that was a good recap of it. I know they use the images for Christmas cards and stuff too, if I'm not mistaken. No. Um, they do a lot of good for the community, yeah. Yeah. And here's a couple more. When my grandkids were younger, my daughter would take them there um, every Saturday, and they would spend about an hour and a half uh, inside the cat room and play with the cats, just take them out one by <laughs> one, and uh, particularly the little kittens, you know, and uh, they really got a lot out of it when they were younger. You know, they enjoyed it, yeah. and it was good volunteer work for them. Yes, we have a lot of people that volunteer. They, they're really dedicated. I'm just amazed at how much dedication these people show for their pets. Oh, yeah. For these Absolutely. Subjects. Well, Roy, I got your image up here. The last slide I have here is with the information on, on the Humane Society of the Treasure Coast with the address and phone number and everything. And again, this yeah, is Yeah, and then for adopt, if you want to adopt, there's the uh, website. And also, if you want to volunteer, uh, people that want to volunteer or if you want to donate there they live on donations so um, they're a good outfit yeah yeah well thanks guys uh, we're all happy to be able to do it and I corralled a new one now I got Mitch standing in for me for the Santa Christmas one so again some people tuned in late here to the meeting we now have 18 participants uh, so if you came in late, remember, we got this recorded so you can play it back uh, later. Uh, OK, I'm going to turn this back over to Sonia. And Sonia, you have some images to show. I do. OK. I'm going to share my Sonia, I Sonia, I couldn't post because I'm still in jail. I'm on <laughs> We're going to have to get uh, Roy there with bars behind bars. <laughs> yeah. And everyone I got three more story. days. I got three. I got three more days. Ah! Three more days. <laughs> okay. These, these are the images uh, that uh, we all sent in of our pets. And, and thank you for everyone for, who participated. It's appreciated. Okay, so this is John Furlong's picture. That's a tabby, I believe. John, do you want to say a few words? Uh, basically, I just was, um, this is a good friend of mine's a cat, and I was taking some photos of it for her. And uh, I was waiting for it to settle down. It had eaten a little bit earlier than that. So now it's kind of settling down and getting ready for an after meal nap. And that's what I was waiting for because I knew it would uh, calm down and it wouldn't be easily distracted by anything. So I just waited till it got going. 
and waited till it blinked its eyes at least once or twice. So I knew that they were going to be coming down a little bit and then fired away. Right. That's beautiful. And, and the eyes are the color of the eyes are what really, uh, yeah, I think stand out with this this particular cat. Definitely. Mitch, you still on? I he might have left. He said he had to leave at seven thirty. So yeah. Okay. It's his uh his dog. I'm actually house. here. Oh, I'm still okay. Here. He's there. Yeah. Very That's, cute. Yeah, I had to go. I helped my wife get some dinner. That's our, our little dog, Bella. She's uh, <laughs> uh, a joy. What can I tell you? She's 11 pounds of wonderful time and uh, great companion and a great pet. That's the truth. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> cool dog. That's her on the steps. And this picture here is one of my favorite animal pictures. I was out, uh, Sonia, you know where that bridge is on Salerno Road that we used to go to where they have the yeah. water retention. Well, there's, yep. a girl, there's a girl that lives in the end house that just moved in there. Uh -huh. and I was walking back up to my car. This little dog was outside there and I, I just was fascinated by him. He just was smelling the air and closed his eyes. And I was uh -huh. able to see picture when the wind was blowing a little bit. I just I like it. It's, it's got a nice look to it, as far as I, I'm concerned. Very nice. Thank you. That's a great one. I like that pose. Oh, that's yeah, the, the out of focus. Yeah, that. Was, um, really Beautiful that. Cat. Yeah, that was uh, my Baron buddy. Hard to keep uh, keep him down. In fact, he is down now. <laughs> He's the one I told <laughs> you passed away a while ago. But How old was he at the time? How old was he? Uh, he was probably 12. All right. Uh, we have his, his sister is still with us. She's 16, but I, I mentioned it earlier tonight. I'm kind of worried about her. She's kind of touch and go right now with some kidney problems. So we've got her on a special food now. Diet, for, yeah. Uh, so a renal, uh -huh. a renal diet. But uh, that was Baron, my buddy. He used to hang out with me all the time. Very smart cat. Oh. <laughs> Miss Joy? Oh, Joy. Joy, can you talk? I know. I think she's on. Uh, let me see. I, if think I, I saw her earlier on. Yeah, yeah. she went on and off a couple times. Right. Yeah, she's on. I'm mm -hmm. going to unmute her here. Ask to unmute. Okay, I'm asking her to unmute. See if I can get her to unmute here. Oh, well, she's still muted. Uh, anyway, uh, I think her son was on. Robert Johnson. Uh, Hello. Yeah, Hi. there he is. <laughs> He's on tonight. Hey, Robert. Hey. Yeah, you, we got Joy's uh, photo of Coco up here. Yep, she. I don't, I'm not sure if she has a uh, microphone hooked up on, on her computer or not. Okay. But uh, I, I've got her on my cell phone, so she could probably talk to you guys that way. Yeah, try it. All right, say something, Mom. Hello. Hi, Joy. Hi, Joy. Hey, Joy. Hey, Joy. Coco absolutely adores Tom, and she dashes out the door to see him, and she also watches out the window when he's coming. Oh, <laughs> I just love her. I, I go over now, and she jumps up on my lap, and uh, I got a couple really good photos with Joy and Coco. Oh, that's... Sofa. But it, it's amazing how that little dog now, rem I mean, the first time I went over there, it was a uh, uh, protective time, for protecting Joy from me. Oh. And then uh, next time I went over, he was watching, or she was watching for me at the window, and great little, great little dog. That's sweet. Joy, you finally got in. I, I admitted you a couple times, you might've had an issue with the connection. Yeah, we were having trouble. Yeah. 
Well, I'm glad you got in. And it's, yeah. it's great to have Robert in too. Be yeah. well, Miss Joy. <laughs> oh, <laughs> cute. Is Michael Harris on? I don't think he's, on. I don't see him listed. Uh, he okay. might have been one of the ones that told me he couldn't uh, tune in tonight. All right. I love this one. Mm -hmm. Very cute. Mr. Bill, is he on? I don't think he's on either. He said he was going to join us. Well, yeah, I think there might have been something wrong with the link. I, it took me a long time to get in, and I finally had to use the Facebook link. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, a couple other people did too, and some came right in, no problem. So hmm. I'll have to investigate that. Mary Delaney, Delaney, you're on. Yeah. yeah. Um, I was actually setting up to just do a um, a still life, and I left the room for a little bit, and I came back, and my cat crawled right in there and had to take a picture of Kenny. <laughs> That's what they love to do. Yeah, they love boxes and things. <laughs> Very nice. Thank you. Mickey. <laughs> what gorgeous dog. That's my newest. She's She was adopted in Louisiana. And everybody, she's three and a half pounds. Everybody thinks she's a, a little puppy and she's actually 11 years old. Oh, wow. Good. Whoever had her before me trained her great. Probably the best dog I've ever had. Wow. Full of personality, it looks like. She's very shy. I, she had kind of a hard life, but she's a, she oh. is definitely a sweetheart. Her name is Jersey. Okay. <laughs> Adopted in Jersey? Jersey? Now, I don't know. Now, Louisiana is where she came from. Oh, so, okay. Very cute. Yeah. <laughs> oh, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> and that is Gracie. Um, she's, uh, she is full of personality. A lot of fun. Chihuahua Pekingese mix. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> And, oh, that's good too. And that is Abby. A Abby is gone now. Um, actually, was my daughter's dog, but when she went to college, it became mine. Um, great little, sweetest little. She's the my. She was my Walmart greeter. She <laughs> greeted everybody. <laughs> yeah. And then Jolie. Jolie was a great dog. I love Big his dog. eyes. Yeah, brown and a blue eye. Yeah. yeah, they call it marbled. One eye was half half gold and half blue. She's a Louisiana Catahoula leopard dog, is what they call them. Wow. Yeah. Very smart, very stubborn, and strong-willed, which is a bad combination. But, but she was a great dog. Oh, Pat Murphy told Pat me. Pat Murphy? He, want, he was going to make it tonight, but then he, at the last minute, he texted me that he couldn't come. Okay. He's one of our newer members. By the way, we got 15 new members, if Joy is still on. Uh, Very nice. After, I think it was the second meeting in this year that we had in-person meeting, we combined, I think we picked up about 15 new people, and Pat was one of the newer ones. Mm. Marty? Oh, look at that. That's my little Molly. She's uh, be five years old next week. And she is not a dolphin fan. When I cheer for the dolphin, <laughs> she goes and runs and hides under the bed. But, uh, mm. She's been my constant companion all during this pandemic. And I don't know uh, what I would have done without yeah. her. Yeah. <laughs> Very cute. Yeah. She's adorable. She's a mm -hmm. sweetheart. Loves everybody. A little Maltese. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I'll tell you these these pets we've had have really brought us through the COVID. I think honestly. Oh, definitely. Definitely. Oh. 
Look at that. Cute. Very cute. He's good buddy. sport. <laughs> oh, look at that. There you are. Yep, yep that's Ginger. Uh -huh. uh, she came to us out of the woods one day, uh, had no hair. Her neck was completely raw, being oh, wow. from the chain or whatever. Uh, and we eventually found out that she was most likely being used as a uh, dog fighting bait dog. Oh, no. And uh, kind of nursed her back to health and turned out to be a beautiful brindle and the sweetest personality possible. Just a, she was a real, just wonderful, happy go lucky dog. Look at that smile on her face. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh. Is she still with you? No. Uh, well, this is Pearl. Um, we had, let's see, we, we had both of them 10, 11 years, and uh, we lost both of them to cancer one week apart just oh, wow. before Christmas last year. Oh, oh sad. Yeah. Yeah. But they're just, Pearl was a big goof. She was just perpetually happy and playful and not a care in the world. And that was uh, Gravy, one of our, Gravy. she was our second cat. Uh, got her back in 89, 88, oh. something like that. Uh, she was well-traveled from Key West to Burlington, Vermont, down back down to Fort Pierce. And, <laughs> like to travel oh yeah <laughs> lots of transfers oh look at that wow that's our which, one, which one's the mom the the one that's laying on the little whisk broom oh, okay yeah she just a semi-feral cat and came to us uh come in the evenings and the mornings when we're feeding everybody else and turns out that she was pregnant, and that's her her three kittens. Aww. And they're all just a little codependent. It looks like it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's quite an interesting photo, really. The way they mm -hmm. Yeah, they always they always tend to uh, pile on top of one another when it's nap time. Right. Our cat, when he, when she had kittens, would take the kittens one by one, go up the steps to the second floor of the house and put the kittens in one of the closets. And she she came back down, got the second kitten. There were four of them. And she just kept them in that closet for about the first, the first four weeks of their life. <laughs> wow, that's an interesting shot right there. Wow. Yeah, Lucifer. Yeah. Yep, she would follow the sun around. Uh, we found her a little bit after Hurricane Katrina. We were out running some errands looking for supplies. And in the parking lot was a shopping cart with some sort of potted plant kind of high in the cart, in, just out in the middle of the parking lot. So we thought, well, that's really odd. So we walked over there and the potted plant was sitting on a little pet carrier with Lucifer inside it. Lucifer. And, wow. and we found out that uh, it, this was right by a pet store. And somebody, a couple, had tried to drop off the cat for somebody else to adopt, but they weren't taking, doing anything like that. So they bought this plant put it on top for a little bit of shade and to attract attention and just abandon her in the parking lot. Are, are you from New Orleans? I've uh, been here since 99. Okay. Yep, got stationed here. And so real sweet cat, uh, one fang, no claws, and all attitude. <laughs> Hence the name Lucifer. That's why... Yeah. That's what happens when you pull the claws out of them. I don't think the vets do it much anymore because it does. They don't change. want to do it. Yeah, it's a mean yeah. thing to do. 
Yeah, you know, we we did that with uh, one one of our cats, and actually it was the second one we did that to, and it, it really I'm sorry we did it because it really changes their personalities. They do get aggressive. Our cat started to bite. He yeah. really bit. He would he would yeah. jump into bed with us at night and bite our toes. Yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> well, she was she was good. We live on two and a half acres out in the woods, fenced, and she'd go outside. And she'd lay in the sun outside or find a nice little shady, breezy spot and have a nap there and just wander around a little bit, but, you know, never, never got too far from the house and stuff. And she was mostly an indoor cat, but she'd get a hankering just to get out some fresh air. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Mr. the mark. Oh, look at that. Is Mark still on? I think he said, I think I saw in chat earlier, he was, he was leaving. Okay. Yeah. I'll bet that's him on the left when he was a kid. <laughs> kind of looks like him. Yeah. That's great. Oh, that's a good one. That looks like it's at the St. Lucie uh, Civic Center there. You know, the big Civic Center there? Yeah. Huh. Cute. Oh, very good. Very good picture. Yeah. I like this. <laughs> yeah. Little video there. And that's all. I figured I'd save that movement for last. Oh, great. That's good. What a great meeting. Just sorry. We, we did have, have about 20 people here. So uh, and we had a pretty good turnout. Uh, I'm sure some people couldn't get on uh, because of technical problems. But uh, it's recorded, and I'm going to put a link out to everybody. Has anybody got anything to say before we wrap it up? Good meeting. Good, Good meeting. Yeah. yeah. Great get together, folks. I love the animals. Love those animals. Yeah, that was special. Yeah. Okay. Good night, everyone. All right. Be Good well, night. everybody. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks, guys. Thank you, Tom, Bye. For all, all you do. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank pleasure. you, Tom. Yeah. Thank you, everyone.